Hey, welcome back. I'm Total Mass Destruction, and are you always in debt in Animal Crossing? Are you tired of paying loans just to get bigger loans? Well, I can't help you with that. But what I can help you with is making money to pay off those loans. Well, to get a lot of money fast, you can easily catch scorpions or tarantulas and sell them. The only downside is normally when they're out, Nook Crannies is closed. You can put it in the Dropbox for a lower amount, but why would you? Flick randomly shows up to your island, and there's nothing you can do to control it. But on the days here, you can give them all of your scorpions that you've caught for the past couple months, and you'll make bank. Selling a full inventory of tarantulas or scorpions to Flick will get you about half a mil. And it's definitely worth it to sell to Flick, because it's pretty much double the price than at Nook's Cranny. But Tommy, how do I catch these creatures? They keep knocking me out. Well, don't worry. The tips will help you become a master. I've learned and got stung so many times that my mouth tastes like blood. And I can help you not have your mouth taste like blood. Unless you wanted to. Then, um, drink blood. So, I'm going to get the tips and all that. But first, we need to get uh, them spawning. And, I mean, you could run around your island, you know. You could, you could be a loser about it. Or, you can look for an island. Hey, so the first half of this video is me showing how to set up a tarantula or scorpion island. Here's the timestamp for tips, and if you want to learn how to make the island, just continue watching right now. Before we begin, we're going to go over the tools you're going to need. You're going to need two nets, two axes, and a single shovel. Alright, step one. What you're going to need is to come to this little ATM machine. You can, of course, you're going to need some Nook Miles, so make sure you're stocked up. And you're going to spend two grand each time. I'm not saying two grand in total, unless you're lucky. Get two grand, you're going to buy Nook Miles. Bam, step one complete. Step two, and you might have to repeat this step. Go ahead and walk up to Orville. He's gonna scream at you because he's a stupid bird. You're gonna fly. You're gonna go bada bing, bada boom. You do see I got a Nook ticket. It's in my pocket. Don't know how you know. Here's my Nook ticket. So when you go to these mysterious islands, there's multiple different islands you can get. And yes, some are better, some are easier. I'm taking you to my preferred island. Stop talking, Orville. I need to go. So when you land, he's going to speak to you. He's annoying as well. Hey, look, this island has water in the middle. This is not the right island. So now begins the grueling task of spending Nook Miles and traveling back and forth to find the right island. Nope. So we got lucky, and this is our third island we visited. Second, third, I don't know. But this is the, We want the Bamboo Island. The reason we want this island is because it's big and flat. Uh, now this part could take a lot of Nook Miles, or if you have incredible luck, you can get it on your third try. So now we begin converting it into a scorpion slash tarantula farm. Now, I've done it for both. I have got them for uh, both tarantulas and scorpions. So they both work on this island, the method I'm about to show you. But for me, it's going to be scorpions. So now that you've made an island, let's begin step three. Step three. <sighs> begin deforestation. Chop down every tree. Go. Everything. The trees, bamboos, anything you can chop down. Give it a good chop. Give it a good whack. Delete it. Ah! My axe broke. Luckily, I brought a second one. Okay. We've chopped down almost all of these bamboos, and now there's a bunch of bamboo. So step four. Begin digging. Pull up all these bamboo shoots that are now stumps, and also the beach ones. Definitely the beach ones. Also, as you're going through, you'll see these little bamboo shoot things that you can dig up. You're going to need to dig them up. But now what you're going to do is go around and pick up the four coconuts. You can do this while you're digging up the stumps. And as you go across the beach, go ahead and eat them. And uh, what you're going to do is, with your shovel, shatter these rocks. You don't want these rocks here. So just eat coconuts and break rocks. That's the next step. I like to do this all at once because it's just easier. It's a big sweep. We get to now pick the grass. Pick the flowers. Pick up any bamboo shoots, tree wood, rocks, clay, or iron that you have created. Anything else on the floor, also pick it up. Just make sure this floor is spotless. It's clean time, baby. So get to picking. Oh, also, I cover the holes during this stage because it's just easier to just smash Y uh, while walking across the island. So that way you can just do it all. Okay, so now you've clicked your island clean. But now your inventory is full and you want to hold all that stuff so what you're gonna do is come over to this beach and just drop it just drop it all you finish your tarantula island now how do you get them to spawn there's three things that spawn on this island these little tiger bugs which you just run up and they jump away the water roaches flee when you show up and you pull up on them 
And then, of course, the scorpions and or tarantulas will pull up on you. Now, there is other different islands. This is personally my best. It works the best for me. Uh, this island, the bamboo island. However, you can find an island that it's rainy on. So now you begin your descent into madness. Okay, so as you can see, they chase you quite intently. Um, and if they hit you, it's an instant knockout. So what I like to do is get them to chase me. There's many methods of catching them, but what I get them to do is get them to chase me, and right before they turn on the screen, turn around and swing the net. It's that simple. However, there's a few things you can do to make this easier. A lot of people I watch, or even people who are just beginning, they turn around instantly. This is slower, um, especially if you're sprinting and then you skid, they get time to come up and hit you. Um, what I like to do is as I, they're chasing me, as soon as they're on the edge of the screen, slowly turn around. Or, well, not slowly, but you know, whip it around as if I'm curving instead of just a straight snapshot. You want to be able to curve into it. That makes it easier and quicker for your character to turn around, and there is less of an animation stopping you as the scorpion and or tarantula pulls up to knock you out. Don't try to aggro two. If you aggro both of them and catch one, the second one is still going to be angry. It's going to pull up at your feet and wait for you to get done with that animation just to knock you out and send you into another animation. Great. It's all on you at this point. The tips are just pretty much don't do stupid things. And uh, ooh, sometimes you'll run into them like that, and that is the worst. Um, but as you can see, I wait and I smooth around and bam. There are times where I try to catch it before it gets to the edge of the screen and all right or you walk into it like that oh there are times that i try to catch it before it's on the edge of the screen and then they just end up knocking me out before i can get the net down or i even miss because they're too close um if you want to play it very safe wait until they're off the screen then it gives you more time to turn around and get them in the net so now you have the tips and tricks you have your own tarantula island or scorpion island and you have your preferred method of catching them, digging holes, using net, and running. Now it's all up to you to filling out your pockets. Despawning scorpion bastard. Oh, he was in the water! He wasn't, he wasn't despawn- Oh, he's broke. Oh. Oh. That man just became a crab. You. You. You're a guy. You're- You're do- Oh! So now, the last thing you have left to do is to sell it and make a profit. So the way I'm gonna do it is sell to Flick. And you have to be very lucky because he's pretty much random. But you could sell to Flick, and believe it or not, Flick is gonna take care of these scorpions, spiders, whatever you give them, better than anywhere else. He's gonna give you more money for it too. However, you can wait until the morning, which is probably what you're going to do because Flick is a one-time thing. You wait until the morning, Sell to good old nooks and cranny where Timmy and Tommy are probably going to take all your scorpions, cook them up to a nice crisp, and eat them for breakfast because, I mean, why else do they need this many scorpions? Well, all that's left now, since you sold all the pockets that you had filled with scorpions, is to now pretty much just repeat if you really want that much money. Uh, if you like this video or if it even helped you, please leave a like um, and check out my other stuff. I mean, I have a fishing jamboree that went... Uh, poorly ah, 27 guy big big guy if you want to hang around just go ahead and click subscribe and if you don't that's cool with me i'm glad i could help with this tarantula slash scorpion farming island for pros it's me i'm a pro as you could tell by my attire thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later bye